voorbij gaan. Uh, voor de verandering eens een keertje vliegen. En dan uh, wel eens in een groepsvlucht. Welkom bij deze groepsvlucht. Ik ga even goed beginnen. Want, um, dit moet ik even uitleggen. Via mede Simpiloot Dreams of Wings een groepsvlucht opgezet. Vervolgens kan Dream zelf niet. En ik heb gezegd, ah, ik ga hem wel leiden. En we zien wel wie erop kan dagen. En uh, het idee is um, om met deze schitterende oude Boeing 247D de heel erg antieke manier van radionavigatie uit te gaan testen die in deze kist zit. Want wat hadden we vroeger? Vroeger hadden we allemaal bakens en die bakens stuurden uh, morsecode uit. En die morsecode die ging, dat waren de A en de N uit te leggen kan ik beter gewoon je plaatje pakken want dat kan het legt zoveel meer uit dan dat ik het met stem uit kan leggen dan moet ik wel een goede plaatje pakken ja ja kijk dit gaat lekker kijk dit soort bakens en dat baken dat zijn dat stond eigenlijk gewoon twee signalen uit de letter a wat een in morse kort lang is en de letter n wat lang kort is en het idee was dat als je lang kort hebt dan moet je dus eigenlijk afwijken totdat je bij een lang komt er en hier komt. En als je precies in de baan zit van zo'n, in de bearing zit van zo'n baken, dan gaan die twee signalen elkaar overlappen. En dan krijg je dus gewoon één continue toon. Want kort lang en lang kort over, overstellen elkaar. Dat was het idee. Nou, dat hebben we een beetje uitgezocht. En dat blijkt dus een hele enorme kaart te zijn. Ik heb in de manual staan, die ga ik nu niet openen. Um, Maar ik heb het in Little Nef Map opgenomen. En daar zit eigenlijk, heb ik eigenlijk een beetje uitgetekend wat onze koers gaat zijn. Dan kan ik dat delen. Want ik heb natuurlijk weer slecht, zo wat slecht voorbereid weer. Even kijken, ik doe gewoon scherm erin, scherm streamen. Zo, hoppakee. En die, die hoef ik even uit. Zo. Kijk. Zo, dat ziet er wat beter uit. Ik ben niet heel soepel in zoals je ziet. Maar ach, wat maakt het uit. We vliegen vanaf Block Island hier en wij gaan richting uh, Quonset en dan vervolgens richting Hartford. En vanaf Hartford willen we naar Stuart om te landen. Echter, er zijn een paar stations. Ik ga even wat klutter weghalen. Hier ligt zo'n station en dit zijn even de readings die ik erin getekend heb. Dus op deze koers en op deze koers vang ik een continue toon aan. En op deze koers. Hier heb ik, deze heb ik niet ingetekend, maar hier zit ook een continue toon op waarschijnlijk. En dan kan ik hier vanaf een toon voeren. Zodat ik naar Stuart kom. Dus eigenlijk moet ik dit vliegen om dit te doen. En eigenlijk was dit een heel netwerk door heel de VS heen. Om dus te kunnen navigeren. Het enige wat een piloot hoeft te doen, is op een toon blijven. Um, en als je te veel gepiept kreeg, dan moest je een beetje afwijken terug op je koers. En zo vlogen ze eigenlijk een koers af. Ze hadden een kaart bij de hand waarbij ze dus precies konden zien op welke snelweg ze zaten, bij wijze van spreken, om te vliegen. Tegenwoordig NDB's, VOR's en nu van GPS is dat allemaal natuurlijk een ander verhaal. Maar wel leuk, wel leuk dat dit hierin zit. Maar ik mis een paar ingetekende lijnen, want ik had hier ook volgens mij Providence ingetekend. Die zie ik niet staan. Dat is een beetje jammer. Eigenlijk is mijn voorbereiding nu druk. <laughs> maar vooruit. Maar vooruit. Um, dit is dus ons plan. En te kijken hoe we dat, uh, hoe we dat gaan, uh, gaan redden. Of dat gaat lukken. Terug naar de sim. Wij hebben straks een groepsvlucht. Ik ga proberen om de chatter eruit te houden. Dus mijn Discord niet op te laten nemen. Ik weet niet of dat lukt. Maar voor nu gaan we gewoon deze kist eens even opstarten. Dan hebben we deze een paar dingen voor nodig. In ieder geval is hier de belading al helemaal gedaan, die had ik al voorbereid. Dus wat wij gaan doen is de battery on. En de uh, avionics on. Deze jongen. Zo. Navigation light. Dus deze jongen. En zo. Dus uit te gaan de lampen. Dan hebben we de main magnetos. En de side magnetos. Zo. Boven engines. Deze zit op de main tank. Want zoals jullie zien, deze kist heeft het rare verhaal dat aan de linkerkant een grote tank zit en aan de rechterkant, dat betekent dat er twee gelijke tanks. 
Dus uh, dat maakt uh, Wade Balance af en toe bijzonder, laat het zo zeggen. Voor de rest, alles is uh, gesingel. Um, ik heb hier de motoren, um, warmte, meving, maar dat is binnenste uh, cilinder 1, cilinder 4 en carburetor. Dan drie keer niks en dan van de andere motor. Dus die kan je stellen. Je hebt hier uh, de manifold pressure van de motor, maar die moet je stellen met deze. Dus je kan er maar één lezen, tegelijk. Als je de brandstof inhoudt wil zien. Dit is de main tank. Nou, die zijn al vol. Als ik deze wil meten, die zal allebei vol geven. Dit is de main tank rechts. Zo. Stel nou dat hij wat leeg was, dan pak deze tank. Dan geeft hij ook vol aan. Dus je kan met deze twee meters uitlezen. Je moet best wel wat aanklooien met, met schakelaars om überhaupt iets te kunnen meten. Dat maakt het wel spannend deze kist. Goed, voor de rest. Wij gaan eens uh, trachten om één motor te starten. Voordat er straks wat meer mensen aankomen. Uh, en dat doen wij door de primekraan open te zetten. De linker motor te nemen. Ik neem de linker, want de linker motor, daar zit de elektriciteit op, dus de generator op. De rechter motor zit een vacuümpomp op, waar dus deze jongen en deze jongen op werken. Um, maar ik wil even de accu gaan ontlasten, die staat nu negatief. Dat zie je, dat kleine, die zie je links van de nul staan. Dus ik wil eerst eens even uh, dat gaan doen. Dan gaan we in ieder geval props en mixer vooruit zetten. Deze zet ik even goed open. Als we brandstof pompen, dan zien we de brandstof in de leiding primen. Zo, dan kan ik primen. En dan zeg ik tegen mijn rampy, wind up the flywheel. Dit ding had geen eigen starter. Dus wat deze gast gaat doen, Jack Norton hier, hallo Jack Norton. Die gaat een ladder pakken, zo, die zet hij daar neer. En dan gaat hij een vliegwiel draaien. En als dat vliegwiel genoeg draait, dan trekt hij een koppeling aan. En dat vliegwiel dat koppelt dan aan de motor. En met alle insteking aan en brandstof in de cilinders zal die motor ontsteken. Of niet. Dat is natuurlijk even de grap hierin. Intussen moet de brandstofbron natuurlijk wel opblijven. Dus, en dan gaan we weer. brengen, een beetje naar de warm draaien, zo. En zo klinkt dat. Motor 2. Ik ga die overschakelen, even kijken, iets boven de 1000, dan mag ik iets terug, een beetje gas minderen. We gaan over naar de right engine. Deze weer naar 0, of eigenlijk naar de luchtdruk. Hè. Zo je wilt. Dan gaan we gaan deze primen. En dan eerst een beetje put erin. 1, 2, 3. Wind up the flywheel. Nou, pak je het lalletje, die gaat naar de andere kant. Ik 
deskist ook zit, is gedoe met zekeringen. Dus wat we niet moeten doen, is te veel belasting zetten op het elektrische systeem in één keer. Want dan gaan de dingen doorbranden, dat zie je heel snel. Dan is zo'n ding zwart geworden. Maar nu zit alles er goed uit. Dit vind ik marvelous. En nu is de doorzetting van stations, maar het grappige is dus... Het grappige is dus, heel veel stations hebben hun eigen zet, hebben hun eigen muziek lopen. Het is echt briljant gedaan dit. Dit heeft natuurlijk qua directioneel vermogen niet zo heel veel, maar je weet wel of je in de buurt bent van een bepaald station. Het is al AM radio. AM is niet, niet zo'n hele lange draagvlak trouwens. Nou, heel gaaf. Maar, wat was het? 524? Daar is die. Nou, voor nu 
ook op mijn Nee, dat is een dik doos, dat doet niks. Hey. How was your dentist appointment? Oh, easy. That's good. Nothing. Uh, nothing going on. I'm trying to look at in OBS, trying to phase out the Discord chat, but I don't think I can, or I'm not, not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the flight will be recorded with Chetty sounds. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely get no PG rating here. Nope. No, I have to remind YouTube to uh, up the uh, parental guide and stuff. <laughs> definitely. And hide behind some some. Adult check. Yeah. Warning. Explicit content and nude <laughs> flying. Yeah. <laughs> Excessive nudity. <laughs> With role play in pilot uh, <laughs> role. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't think I see you in the sim yet. Am I mistaken? Uh, we we have to use join us again because I'm on the uh, sim oh, update 11 course. beta. You are on the beta, yes. Yep. That's right. Join us, it is. And it looks like that Ian is joining with the Vega, so yeah. we will join FS. We will need to join FS anyway. Yeah, indeed. And I've got you. In a turbo porter. <laughs> Replace. Oh, no. oh, I got you in the Empire. Silly, silly, silly thing. Okay, find the correct one. Why can I just type something in, guys? Oh, I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I never realized I could. Okay, you're in the red one, Pennsylvania Central? Yep. Done. There you are. Yeah, Dreams himself had to be excused. He sent me a message. He wanted to join, but he couldn't. That, that's a lame excuse. I know. He couldn't. It's it's all I got. He <laughs> just can't fly the 247 for more than five minutes before it's burning down. No, I saw him on, on his Facebook and stuff. He is, he's definitely flying it again. Ah, that's all fake. Mm. <laughs> You're being recorded now, so watch, you, watch yourself. <laughs> Rob, all fine, all fine, Rob. <laughs> I do have to ask him how he filters out the Discord chat in the, in the recording stuff, because I can't manage it. But okay, that's for later. I will release the parking brake. The uh, engine's already running? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's, let's wait at least for the estimated time. I yeah, think yeah, 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 I'm just, I'm just gonna text you to the holding and wait till the, uh, the time I, r I yelled out. I see your props turning, but that's probably John FS mucking about. Yeah, that will be John FS. Mine are still not on. Yeah, would will be a fun. Take off with 
when he not cross? <laughs> yeah, I see. I also thought I drew in all the uh, the heading vectors in the map, but some are missing, so I have to draw them in again. Providence is missing, and the Hartford one is missing. So I can do that now. I think preferred would would, would be to eight. We have winds uh, from 2 to 4 with 19, 20 knots, 21. Did it shift? Because I checked yep. before I went to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, it shifted. It shifted a little bit. Ah, uh, fuckers. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Backtracking to the other one. Yeah. It was completely cross when I uh, when I left. Yeah, one hour ago it was cross. Yeah. Flywheel on number one. Very good evening, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hello, hello. Good Howdy. evening. Audience. Greetings. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, here we are then. Yeah. Block Island. We've been here for ages. Windy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes. In these old ancient uh, craft, we're going to get on the way out there's a nice 15 knot tailwind so that should be good but then when we start turning wow some crosswinds yeah what's the weather doing here at the moment so it's um 210 at 15. Ooh. okay it's changed yeah it's changed a bit i was just yep. yeah on the other end so when uh torsten reminded me now. that it that it shifted yeah I was already go off at ten. Now, now we have to go off at two eight. Uh, so it's going to be a, a left to right crossy. That's okay. So we are on Joint Affairs Digital Theme Park. I am on Global. Oh, you're on Global. I think. Uh, I see you anyway. So I can go on either. Global as well. I think I'm on global. Yes, I am. There's only me here. Can't see anyone else. I'm at the end uh, or at the beginning, if you want. <laughs> Two eight. Um, yeah, no, I'm still at parking. See anybody else in the in join FS? I mean. Okay. No, I don't think I saw anybody there yet. Fresh I'm on join FS global, but. Uh, can't see anybody else. Okay, maybe I did. I did then mistakenly go for digital theme park. Yeah, I'm switching to global. Yeah, I will switch to global too.
Hallo. Kom op, Hallo. Ho, Mick her. Hi, Mick. Hi. Hi. Hallo. Right, who do we have? Oh. Who can I see? I can't see anybody. I'm on global, but global gives me nothing. Uh, yep. I'm, a, I'm on global. No. Yeah, re uh, remember, Toby, we had that, uh, the same problem the last time on global. Should we dr go off to digital theme park? We yeah, I think it's... Yeah, yeah, would be better, yeah. Seems better. Okay. Uh, right, uh, public hubs, where is it? Uh, digital, see, there it is. Right click, join. Boom. Right, Boom. there we are, now I can see somebody. There you go. Toby's in. That's fine. We're okay now. I can see you there. Yeah. And uh Except you're in a Dorsten. you're in a Yes, 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 yes. Alright, yeah. Wow, this is a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> noise is so, got plenty. Uh, how much fuel should we uh, I pumped it full, but you don't need as much. I have all at half. Uh, okay. 190. And two with a couple of extra oil tanks though. They don't do drop tanks for oil, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, changed my oil back to um, SAE uh, 30, but it's still on the 50 from uh, Papua New Guinea. Yeah, 50 uh, hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, just gonna start my stream going. Oh, you're also streaming? Okay, I'm recording. Post it later. So we have okay, 50. So we are live on the stream. 50 is way off, 129er. Fly Live Studio, let's have a look. And 309 also also big hit. Bid. And KSWF. KSWF. I've tuned in Providence already and getting a long shot. Yeah, got an end. to the active. Minus one eighty because it's a bearing <sighs> silly. The Morse code is already nerve wrecking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't forget the flaps, Toby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think I will try uh, getting out north and then capture the uh, Providence beam inbound for seven. Okay, so you go, you're going straight for Providence 347. Yep. Okay. Obviously, in the Vega here, I don't have any such niceties, so I'm just going to be a, a visual today. Yeah, we're going to get lost anyway. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid uh, Wing 42 didn't bring that uh, lovely ship to P3D when he got the Vega. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, what to say about Otmar and Wing 42. Same again, he brought out the early access Vega, and I think it, it was already on a release state when he abandoned it and uh, dived away and then he came back months later doing the 247 for MSFS and after release he dived somewhere again no word <laughs> anything no history repeating it's a pity yes yeah really yeah it is because potential is fantastic, isn't it? In this. Yeah. And the, the so Toby, what is it? Parking space here, or? Yeah, still drawing <laughs> lines, but I'm I'm stuck. Fuck it, we're gonna fly. Ah, what about Mick? Yeah. Right, just removing the ladders. Okay. Let's see if everybody's correct in join of us. Aircraft wise. Yeah, yeah it's all in the uh, Electras, which is a twin. That's the closest I can find. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You are in a 247 now, for here. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Just giving you a, sh a 247. And Mick, you are not in the joint of us. Or let me rephrase, I don't see you. He's still at the... No, he's taxing. Yeah, on the move. I see him while you're joining FS. Uh, he is, yeah, he's in He's in joint FS, but I can't see him physically yet. That's weird. I had to do a, a turn. I was <laughs> facing the, uh, uh, the tower. Or now the, the terminal or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. I've only got three in joint of us. Yeah, he's coming. I see him. I've got him. Yeah. Yeah. Eyeballs on me. Okay, yeah, up. I see him in the sim. I've got joint of us. Okay. Well, anyway. Landing lights on. Uh, what off. do I see? Two aircraft. I need to get rid of one, don't I? Yep. Frothing up. Looks like a biplane, so Whoa. that'll be Toby, I should think. You just drove straight through me, Mick. Yes. Ah. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> see, you. see me there. I can't even right, go into I'm the wind, guys. <laughs> uh, there you are. There's there's the photo. You're right on top. Ah. We're, we're cozy. It's mating season on Bog Island again. Yeah. Lining up. Impossible okay, well to I'm keep on the wrong way. Okay. Well, I'm number three. Ah, now I see, well, unfortunately I see a caravan. Oh, 
Holy yeah, moly. Yeah, undoable. Substitute. Um, Kill killing some runway lighting. Yeah. Shutting the windows helps. Against crosswind. Not with the wind, but with the sound. I actually can hear no human voices in the back. <laughs> ah. Cloudy here. Yeah. I see some uh, rain showers in front. Car beat on. Temps and pressure looking good. traffic about a lot of labels In the better branch, you usually have a lot less labels. Probably, yeah. Just in between showers, heading 030 to Quonset Island. Staying at 1000 below the clouds. Yeah. We had 2000, but uh, still VFR. Mick, Ian, did you get off alright? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I mean, there wasn't a huge amount of runway left, but. Uh, <laughs> well, the crosswind Enough. pushed me off, so uh, this plane is not rated for... Just to clear the obstacle at the end, that was the problem, because this thing doesn't climb like anything. Ah, okay. So it was close to the trees, but we're okay. We survived.
So, top of this little of Conica, Conica Island I'm looking for. Yeah, I've got the island in the, uh, which is the estuary there. Island in sight. There, yeah, there it is. So top of that, and then left turn to 294. Indeed. For 60 odd miles. The station there has. So you're going straight for Providence, right? Yeah, I'm heading north and trying to catch the uh, inbound uh, 4-7 to okay. Providence. I'm on a uh, course more to the right or towards Quonset. Yep. Actually, never done that before. Just for tests, <laughs> not for a flight. I did this flight test earlier, but because I had the wrong oil in, I didn't get to our stewards. Engines thought it was enough before, long before that. <laughs> uh oh, will I hear this Morse code when I'm sleeping? <laughs> I guess I'm about three minutes out of the tip of the island and then of course the I'll turn on the radio when it dies down then I know that I'm directly over the beacon. doesn't look too inviting. You seem to be in a torsten now, isn't there? No. I'm below, staying below, uh, trying to avoid the, the rain shafts. Okay. Yeah, between 800 and 1000 feet here. trying to trigger out but I keep continuing to climb so trigger down again yeah it's always an up and down with her and left and right and yeah <laughs> not exactly stable no as I can imagine the Vega also uh, Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, it's okay once you've got it trimmed. The vertical stuff is not easy because obviously, as soon as you start picking up speed, you gain lift and up it goes, and then you have to trim down and yeah, all yeah. the rest of it. The left and right's not so bad. The, the lateral's not so bad, but the vertical is a little bit of a. Yeah, it's the same in the two four seven. Yeah, it's like you have a very small. A very large window in which you can trim on the elevator, but a very, very tiny window mm. in which it actually does something that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, beacon on. Okay, there's the bridge. So I'm, a, I'm approaching the island, just coming over the top now. Jamestown Bridge. 
Jared just passed it. Yeah, I can see you. I got visual. You're uh, up there on my uh, 10, 11 o'clock. That same height. For me, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> There's the island, so left turn 294, 60 miles. Okay, you're going direct there. I'm, I'm going via go on I'm speed going, and I'm going via Providence. So I have to tune 247 now. to find the beam to Hartford. Yeah, it's... it's. I haven't found the correct way yet to paint them in uh, in uh, little net map, so I just draw distance lines, but that's far from ideal, of course. I think it, there was an option to pull in a course line, but I have, uh, maybe it's phased out or something in uh, one of the later versions. Now you won't find it, of course, line, because I'll draw them in. You have to go north. I'll post a little net map picture so you can see what you're doing, which line you have to take. You have to take yeah, in theory I know which line to take. Okay, okay. <laughs> I went from long shore to it's short okay, long, Adam. but uh, not yeah. bad. Got a few little backfires here, but it's okay. Thank you. It's all right. The other guys are off as well. They're they're around somewhere. So I just follow this road here through Exeter. That's what we do, just keep keep following this road. Yeah, that's my backup plan. <laughs> VFR. But the weather yeah. doesn't work with me. On VFR. IFR. I follow <laughs> roads, yeah. yeah. Until we until we hit a major intersection and then we're on our own. And then it's uh across the Arcadia management area. Side, so there's not much to go on there. Speaking of fading stuff. off, so I'm now over Providence, turning west. Uh, we're, f uh, we're on the we're in the Boeing two four sevens. Yes. Boeing two four seven, Adam. Uh, from Wing forty two, and obviously this is a Wing forty two, but this is an early Vega, so there's no. No electronics in this, no, uh, no guides or anything, so I'm doing a visual. Frankie, hello! Yeah, my friend, I'm trying to join, join FS. This is loaded, but can't see other people. I'm on hmm. the away beam now. Okay, there, and it could be a... Yeah, go. Now on the outbind beam Could from be a couple of things there, Frankie. towards Hartford. Good. But now 
out the Hartford one because it didn't roll it in yet. almost on a constant tone so I'm riding the outbound beam but now I have to find an inbound beam for this one of course Frankie, just make sure everything looks like this, and you've, you're, you're broadcasting your position, and you're all in the same server, obviously. Sorry, it's a bit tricky at the moment. This should be it. We have some nasty weather that I've got to uh, try and avoid. Hello, good evening. Hope you're well. Just having a little flight in the um, Lockheed Vega 5. Vega 5 here. From Block Island to Stewart in, uh, in North America here. Great New York area. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, brightening up further up there, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm on a constant tone for this, so I'm gonna take another frequency, which would be 329 Hartford. tune 600 and enjoy some music yes let's do that all this beeping around What was the outbound course again, Toby? Um, um, 
Let's say uh, 265. Okay. Yeah, no problem, Frankie. Yeah, when, when, when we've done this, if, if you hang around, we'll, we'll try and help you. Uh, it's just a bit tricky when I'm trying to fly this so low here. Um, I don't know if Adam can help. Uh, he might be able to help you, but we will, we'll get you on later. Give you some pointers anyway. Got it working, Toby. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I was uh, mixing up a uh, little nav map course and the the plotted course I made, so I was too low. Yeah, and like I, I said, I, I on, on drew the, the the wrong ones because when I drew uh, draw out of the point, then you take a heading, not a bearing. So you have to. Take okay. 180, 180 off. Main highway. Yep. I395 just crossed. So I know where I am. Some water on this side. Yep, there it is. Good. All good. the poor guy that had to do this flight beam stuff and listen to the code. I can turn it off every five minutes or so. You know, if you know the yeah. course, you know the course. Yeah. But first you have to find it. Yeah. What yeah, stifles me still is, you know, you have the A and the N quadrant, so to speak, but you don't know when I hear an A or an N, do I go left or right? So you have to have the radio map in your lap, so to speak, to know somewhat in which quadrant you are in order to decide to steer right towards the, the beam or left. Yep, you should have a, a rough direction on the map where you actually find the sector you are approaching, yep. Oh, nasty clouds in front again. Yeah, it's dramatic, indeed. the band and try to tune in Hartford and the, the 247 is going somewhere else in yeah. the meantime. Yeah, it's a bit iffy. I need a co-pilot. Well, you can use active poles, of course. Yeah, that's for pussies. I know.
in the end, if you see even on the radio panel the light and the shadows moving, you know something. Yeah. Okay. Warning, you overstressed the aircraft and crossed it to critical damage. What? Leave your window open. No! I was trying to go down below the clouds again, but uh, yeah. Tuning the radios and keeping the course, I did not watch the uh, speed close enough. Yeah, but still, you didn't cross 200 knots. Ah, holy moly. Okay, pick up the pieces at Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hmm, weather's better here. Brightening up. Ah, not on this side. Low clouds. Clouds are lifting. That's good. Just reading uh, while waiting the sim. Uh, just reading little nav map and. I think they can't decide where they actually are. I read Coventry. Below I read Lebanon. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay. No, not FS Cloud, join FS my friend. And there's yeah. a Can Canterbury. And a Manchester. That's all New England here, mate. Yeah, definitely. You know where they came from. Yeah. East Hampton. <laughs> Bolton, Andover, Mansfield, Ashford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Damn, I thought I would fly in the US. Yeah. But, uh, looks <laughs> like I'm in the UK. New Britain. Something's wrong with you. New Britain, Berlin, Middleton, Chester, New London, Norwich, <laughs> Buckingham Reservoir Watershed, and the, uh, Enfield, Stafford. Look at this. Woodstock is all here. Haven. Wow. So, what about 15 miles to um, Hartford? Yeah, round and about. And then a slight left turn. 275 for 70 miles. Okay. You're going straight for Stewart? Straight for Stewart. Check the wind, we might have to... Oh, well, there's, there's a few runways we can choose there. So it's over the river, so and we we'll have a look at the weather. If we do the radio thing, in then half we... an hour or so and decide... Yeah. If we do the radio thing, then first we go towards Greenwich, Yonkers, and then take another radio beam into Stewart. So it's kind of a, um, a corner, following the old navigational route. That's the plan, at least. Time for a beer. Oh, I've got a scotch. Uh -huh. Half a 
be a lift. Misfit tour we're doing. We're doing the Greek islands. Ah, oh, cool. And um, we're in in cubs, and we're doing like little short hops, and we're landing at everyone. But what, but part of the deal is, is that everyone has got to have a shot of ouzo every time we land. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and last Friday, Ratty Ratty was absolutely rat assed. <laughs> I tell you, his landings were superb. His landings were absolutely superb at the end of the day. You should always be After drinking your After about the fifth landing <laughs> and the fifth double shot of Uzo, he was well away. <laughs> so uh, it's become a thing now. We're on leg, leg five, leg six next, leg five next, I think, out of seven. Cool. So every landing, he's got to have a shot. We pull up at the at the uh, Uzo cart. Great. Excellent. Just loaded up at Hartford and the weather is even more ugly. Yeah, it's sucky. It's really dark. Yeah, add in beer o'clock time. Gotta be done. I've got no problem with the weather here. Uh, it's quite. It's overcast, but it's bright. Uh, what I'll was post it? a picture uh, of mine. Let's have a look. Uh, map. Blocked aircraft. Yeah. Wind. Nothing at nothing. Ten miles viz. Overcast at 313 feet. So it's not not loaded in, maybe. Not exactly what you are seeing. It is what I'm yeah. seeing. Or rather, not seeing. It's weird. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? I mean, active sky says we should be in cloud here. Yeah. But I ain't seen any of it. I'm not seeing any of it at all. This whole east coast is just blanketed. I mean, it's just under a complete blanket of cloud. When I tested this last week, it was nice and clear. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Yeah. Here, uh, I shouldn't have said that. It's, uh, it's suddenly here now. Ah, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you. Retriggered Active Sky? It's. No, no, no. I think it's just. Waiting to pull it in the day turn, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's a nice way to test the uh, lighting in this bird. Internal light. the engines in Hartford. Okay. Oh yeah, I got you.
big highway there. Ooh, I see a switch of river, I think. C CT9. There's Robertson. Should be an airfield ahead here somewhere. Oh, here's the river. If you don't let the fuel tanks run dry. <laughs> uh, plenty of fuel, but indeed, remember the tanks. Yeah, I need to keep changing it over. Right, there's uh, Robertson Aerodrome. So I know where we are. There's Robertson, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got a continuous tone. Towards Newark. So, 240 it is. Off. Beeping ping. Works like a charm, nice. Torsten. Yeah, tuning in New Walk now. What is it? Uh, three, 341, yeah. Yeah, 341. off at Hartford now. So what are you listening to in the Morse code, is it? Or, or Basically, some, yeah. some other yeah. audio? Basically the the stations that you tune into. Uh, yeah. Depending on the pairing that you have on it, sends out an A or an N, so a short long or a long short. But if you're on the correct beam, then those uh -huh. signals intermix, so you get a continuous tone, because short long and long short together is just a long tone. So basically, oh, okay. if, if you're off the beam, then you can get a, you're getting uh, the wrong tone. If you're on the beam towards the station, then you get a continuous tone. And that's, that was the whole right. premise. So there was a network of stations in the US but also in other parts of the world where you basically just ride the beam to the next station either an outbound beam or an inbound uh -huh. beam uh -huh. so the way from Hartford to Stewart is not a direct like you took but take the Newark station tune in and when it intersects with the Stewart station then turn, to turn towards the Stewart station that means flying from Hartford Southwest to Yonkers and then northwest back to Stewart. Oh, so you keep you keep crossing crossing the beam. Basically, yeah. That's what we're trying. Yeah. And this route I set up is yeah. for um, doing an inbound beam and an outbound beam and an intersection beam. Yeah. 
it is hard, of course, because you've only got one radio, so you have to retune all the time in yes, order to find your. Of course. And then if if it, if it's beeping instead of steady, how are you wrong? Are you left wrong? Are you right wrong? <laughs> so it's okay. It, it's a bit iffy. Yeah. But it's a very cool. Well, basically the, the yeah. version 0.1 on on navigational uh, radio navigation. And it's cool that they modeled it. Wow. Yes. So that's that's Wing 42 that's done that, that's created yeah. this app. Correct, correct. It's not in P3D, it's not in MFS. No, yeah. no, okay. no, no, no. Oh, it's part of the aircraft then. Okay. Yeah. And then what they also did is provide the uh, CSV files with all the centers, so you can upload it into a little nav map. So then you have them all on the, on the map, of course. Yeah. That helps a lot. Otherwise, you'd be ah. really fumbling yes. about. Yeah. And the neat feature is also is that radio stations are modeled all across the states. And if you tune them in uh, and switch yep. the radio from continuous mode to uh, intermittent, then you can then you can listen to Fernie's radio. <laughs> and lots of these stations. Yeah. That's this is the cool part. Lots of the frequencies have different programs running. So it's not only just tuning to uh, a station and hearing all the time all the same. If you tune a different station, you get a different radio program. It's unbelievably cool. Right. I really think it's cool. Wow. And that's not directional, of course, but if it gets out of range, then you know, you know, if you're expecting Detroit. Yes. And you're losing signal on Detroit, yeah. then you know something's missing. <laughs> so something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you're heading away somewhere. Indeed. So I guess, yeah. Yeah, so you get an experience at it. They, they were, they were good, uh, good at navigating. It really keeps you busy, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I bet. And then just put a, a second engine you have to take care for. On you, Vega, make it a little bit bigger with all the uh, fuses and stuff and watching the engines and temps, like you know from the Vega. Mm. So they, they did a yes. really cool yeah. job, yeah. And that for a lousy 70 yeah. euros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really is insane. Hours and hours of fun. If you look at, at the depth of, of immersion and, and techniques behind this, Mm. Wow. Maybe that's why why Otmar is missing because he's, he's basically every three months he has to be in the multi for four months just to recharge, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Probably yes. <laughs> yeah, we got some some insights from from another dev. Uh, working with him on the project uh, and she said yeah he's off and he needs to, to recharge actually his, his batteries and uh, he, she promised he will be back but uh, she she could not tell us when so yeah yeah we have to wait I think there are really only minor issues bugging me so it's perfectly reliable with a lot of fun yeah, I think the only thing I um, I've got is that the uh, the spool up uh, sound for the right hand engine isn't there. Yep. Otherwise, I don't really have stuff. Definitely not a game breaker. No, definitely not. Uh, yeah, the the other thing was with the oil temps too high, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got fixed for that. That was fixable also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this this suffered from that as well. The Vega. The uh, the Vega had yeah. Sometimes there was no oil pressure. Sometimes it was too high. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like today, I've got no airspeed indicator. Nothing. Okay. So. And there's no breakers. There's no fuses. There's no pitot covers to worry about that, so I don't know what's happened. 
like this whether pito icing or le at least being clogged with water or something isn't could be yeah. could well be could well be but of course there's no pito heat there's nothing there's no electrics on it as such it's one of the nastier little bugs uh, is that the, the oil yeah. temps in the 247 are uh, consistently too low so you think everything is fine well well you don't know you're not going to make it <laughs> because you're overstressing the engine but you yeah. don't know about it but there's a fix for that so uh, the web yeah she's running smooth now yeah and then i have a constant uh, up on beam from hartford so that's yeah. nice yeah me too tuning it in every uh, three to four minutes yeah still good go away <laughs> Of course, when we reach the coast, then we have to tune. Let me check towards 236, and then we can get an inbound beam. Flying, what is it, 340? Something like that? Yep. Every minute I get a little bit shocked because I hear some, some uh, Morse code, but it's the station. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the station I did, yeah. I think I definitely crossed the uh, 200 knots. I think the, the upper marker is 180, and I was at 180 when I last watched. So, yeah, could be. Silly me. Fly information with Nick, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm clinging to you because I ain't got a clue where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mick is the formation glue thingy flyer. Yeah. Oh, good on you, mate. Well, we're heading on a heading of 240. And if you've got the radio tuned correctly, then you'll get a perfect, almost perfect tone. Continuous tone. And we'll fly this when we, until we get to the coast on this, cr on this heading. Because then we have to tune. 36, which will lead us on a heading of 340 to Stewart. That's the plan. Oh, well, I'm saying that I'm distracted. So weather at uh, Stewart 298. So runway 271003. Thank you, sir. Runway 27. Oh, so it's straight in basically. It's a straight in. Heading into 
those showers again. Winds a bit the uh, the beam because if I look yep. at it little nav map, then I'm basically a good three miles to the right of the track, but I still got a continuous tone. Off of you, and I've still a constant beam, so yeah, you should be uh, three, maybe four miles behind me. Yep, I guess. We've been flying in the Pacific so long, I've forgotten how bad weather can be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been sunny for months. Africa too, in my DC6 tour. Are you doing the um, DC3 airways? No, 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 no. DC6, you're in. I'm in a DC6 and I'm flying Six. it from, from uh, South Africa to Dusseldorf. Trying to touch oh, okay. as many countries as I can so in Africa. We're, we're, we're doing a. Yeah, we're, we're doing a little tour in. Um, South Africa right now, we're doing the blue train from Mozambique down to Cape Town in DC-3s. Ah, cool. So we're, yeah, we did Mozambique to um, Johannesburg and then Johannesburg to Kimberley today. So we stopped at Kimberley. So we continue Kimberley to Cape Town and then we do the garden route over to Port Elizabeth after that. It's a blue train, so I don't know if you know that, but it's it's rather like it's their version of the Orient Express, that type of thing. Okay. So a luxury train. Cool. Are you still are you guys still flying with the Misfits on a Sunday night? Oh yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Which was what I'm really pleased. Which is why I was really pleased to see you on a on a Monday or away from the weekend, which is great. Means yeah. I can join. Yeah, Sundays are are uh, crap every nowadays, Friday, yeah. every. Every Sunday is, is misfit misfit flight, so I can't join you if you. Sometimes I can if you go early, but um, the 1900 Zulu is when we start. Yeah. It seems a popular spot. Rob seems to pick those, but uh, it's great to be on a, you know, away from there. Yeah. So I can join. Fantastic. Yeah, and Sundays are are bad for me now, so I, I wish I could join you guys, but it's. Uh, yeah. Not yeah, no, possible no, anymore. Yeah, no. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we still do the Fridays. So the, fri the Friday is the tour. Um, so we we've settled on doing tours now, sort of six, eight, ten week tours. And uh, we're doing Greek Island at the moment on Friday. And then the Sundays are single one-offs, you know, the usual thing. Okay. Keep the Fridays in mind. Yeah. Friday, Friday tour. And yeah. I'm also... Uh, so we're length 
lot into sim racing and Mimi was with us the other night. Ah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mimi and Kurt joined us. I think that had something to do. We were in P51s. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that helps. Warbirds help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. As soon as the warbird, warbirds come along, he's uh, they're there. Ooh, God! Look at this terrain. This is horrible. Take a picture of that. Yeah, at the moment I'm in, I'm in sim racing in a uh, championship which runs every other week on Fridays. So, every other means. Yeah. Oh, and the other. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do I have to bring my own bottle of Uzo then? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, use those this week. Yeah, the ratty's halfway through the bottle. <laughs> leg four. He's got three more legs to go. <laughs> okay, so Stuart is across that river, the other side, and it's virtually a straight in on two seven one. Getting a so glimpse of the sea now, so. I yeah, just tuned in the uh, Stewart station. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that too. Well, I'm rained again. 3.46, right? Uh, uh, about 6 miles to run. 2.36. 2.36, that was it. And the course will be 3.38. Okay, uh, runway in sight, or well, Pappy's in sight anyway. Stuart Pappy's in sight. Planning straight in on 27. I have no tone, 246. Nothing. Landing light. 236. Two, 236. Two, two, three, gotcha. Yes. I'm checking. Overhead the river, about four miles to run. Runway is now in sight. Established. It'll be two seven straight in. I 
could you possibly tune the directional gy gyro to the whiskey compass? Because even in level flight it's going like crazy. Yes! Oh yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm opening the VFR map and checking the heading. Ah, okay. Setting the uh, gyro then. So you're, uh, yeah, but you're also cutting a corner then. Okay. Over the numbers. Coming in. Yeah, I see you're cutting a corner a bit, yeah. Do so as well, of course, and do so at zero. Touchdown, minus sixty seven. Take that. Steady on the brakes, on a nose over. There you go, settled on his tailwheel. Missed the taxiway, so I'm going to take the grass. Nice. Okay, runway vacated. All yours, Stuart. Yeah, in half an hour. <laughs> I'm still in a fair bit out. <laughs> right. Is that because you've got to do the zigzagging for the for the beam? That, but also you can't just go direct to intercept another beam. Yeah. So we're following beams basically. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And confess, you Not were like in the turbo Vega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's not like a, a, a traditional normal VOR where you just lock onto the signal. No, no, no. No, it's a beam, cross beams. Okay. Yeah, I put some pictures in the uh, in the group chat as preparation. Yeah. In the end, you have to tell us how you yeah, fit the EAP. Sorry? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a study of that, I'll be interested. Because, um, if you don't get lost, it's really it cool. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is cool. Okay, so there we are. So we're down, down and locked. And Ian, you have to tell us how you fit the PT6 uh, turbine on the Vega. <laughs> Faster than you guys. Yeah, uh, just whatever. Just going direct, yeah. It's yeah. a big benefit just here. Going direct, <laughs> just visual. Yeah, just visual. Following the roads, following the river. I'm getting tone. The, the beeps, I now get a softer um, in between, if that makes sense. No, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of sinus between the short and the long, I get a more so more a softer tone between the si instead of the silence. So yep. that means that I'm intercepting the beam. So I'm going to turn towards three four zero. Okay. It's a really interesting way for navigation it. Oh my the weather looks more door like that that way. It's not that bad. Well, if you look towards New York, it is. Yeah, that's model. Is Heinrich? Have you got Heinrich in your in in that as well? Yes. Yeah. The, the ramp agent. Yeah. The yeah. Ramp <laughs> I got Heinrich. Yeah, he's just unloaded my passengers. And we got more of them. 
Yeah. Some, some more names, yes. Yeah, there's three guys, right? Uh, one for the for the technical says. stuff, one for the, the the loading, and one for the, really? the engines. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, the Vega's only got Heinrich, and he seems to come with us everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he was at uh, Block Island earlier on. Now he's here. <laughs> one <laughs> Same of the best guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he gets here so fast. Heinrichs are everywhere. No, I think we have, we have a Hein Heinrich, uh, a Jack. Yeah, a Jack, and I don't know the third one. Yeah, Jack Norton, Heinrich, and the other guy. Yeah, Jack's the Jack's the mechanic. Jack's the mechanic, isn't he? Yeah. Heinrich is the rampage, and Jack's the mechanic. Yep. Uh, I don't. The Vega doesn't have anybody else. Just those two. Okay, beeping off. The correct Porsche. Down there. Oh wow! You're going into Teterborough. <laughs> You're going into the big airspace. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. I didn't realise you had to go what that far out. I mean that's way south, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've, I've posted the the original wow. paper chart uh, in the Discord. In the group flight of Rob. Mm -hmm. There you can see uh, the the. Old airways and and the stations. Okay. Of course, you could go VFR when the weather permitted it, of course. But if if it wasn't, if you were, then you were basically bound to the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the outbound or yeah, inbound. Yeah, you needed that. Yeah. 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 You needed that. Certainly today, with that low fog. I mean, literally, as brushing the trees at one point. Yeah. Is here you can just go go to the river um, and go up, fly past West Point, and you're straight in, Stuart. Yeah, like I said when I practiced this last week to see uh, if it would work, then it was it was completely clear. So you know when when you're going to Hartford, mm -hmm. halfway from Providence, you already see the Connecticut River with the distinctive bending uh, at Hartford. Cheers, Adam. So yeah. Yeah. Easy stuff. Yeah. 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 What's really cool is that, that you got the uh, the manuals about the radio navigation with the whole continental US mapped out in areas and in uh, mm -hmm. total. So it's basically a railroad a railway network, so to speak. Following the lines the beams between the, the beacons. Yeah. Must have been quite some research. Absolutely, to put all that together. Yeah. I think that that's original documents. Looks like, yeah. The looks paper like. one is uh, scanned, yeah. Yeah. Looks like scanned paperwork. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Not only with the aircraft and the, uh, the AccuSim style stuff in here con containing the engines mm. and elect electrics, but also the whole extra on, on first navigation and working. Really impressed. Yeah, to get that whole system to bring in as part of the uh it's part of the, the aircraft. Yeah, but also the sim because the sim. I mean, that's a uh, whole thing in it. The, the sim yeah. uh, has uh, either GPS or NDB beacons or VOR beacons. Mm -hmm. But this is basically introducing a whole new system for this aircraft. So maybe it, it says something about the yes. SDK of the new sim, of yeah. course, but still. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it reminds me of, um, where, uh, of our when we fly the Stratocruisers and the Constellations over the Atlantic, yeah. we use the thing called Weather Ships add-on. Yeah, yeah, and correct. And the, and the Stellar navigation. So someone's created that, and it, it, it works seamlessly in P3D. Yeah. Um, and 
and uh, you know there's a little app that, that comes up on one of the shift keys and there it is you switch it on and and you can fire it off and, and use weather ships uh, and it accurately mimics the you know 200 square mile weather ships in the middle of the Atlantic yeah it's a very good comparison so I yeah. really enjoy flying with those yeah yeah and 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 the stellar stuff overnight where you do star shots um, for Pacific stuff really good same sort of thing isn't it really good yeah very clever people who've come up with this yeah it's it, it's enriches the sim in ways more than just an aircraft yeah yeah yes it does it really does yeah yeah we see well i'm sure you do in that sim especially you see so many people just flying from the outside with an xbox controller and never go yeah. near any sort of nav or anything, which is fine. Which is you know, fine. That's what, yeah. that, what they do, but so much, so much more to it, isn't there? So much more yeah. when you get into it. Yeah, it's not my um, style, indeed. You know, you do a three. Th no, 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 no. I'm, I'm being. You know, you do a three thousand mile cross Pacific or Atlantic, and suddenly you're within twenty miles of a, you know, where you where you wanted to be, and that's fantastic. That's really good. Uh, you know, margin of error for that distance using the weather ships and the drift and working out the wind and everything really good really good okay so you're just coming past um, West Point up the river you'll be here soon yeah I'm uh, let's say 18 maybe 20 miles out yep yeah yeah Thorsten yeah. is a bit in front of me Mick is still glued to my right wing. Uh, okay. Oh, so it's your fault then, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Quite the skill, uh, Mick. I'm really impressed. Well after, done, uh, from, from Asia well stuff. done, Mick. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have a yeah. long uh, B-17 formation flying career behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this, this just takes me back right. to that. Two more engines. Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. Misfits, we did a B-17 recently, I don't know where we went, but I um, can't remember now. But it comes up time to time, when it's when it's the B-17's turn again. Yeah. I used to fly with the virtual... Oh, that's right, we, that's right, we did... did oh, okay. Uh, um, uh, you, you must know Gip, Gypsy, then. Gyp Gypsy, Baron. Oh, yeah, Gypsy. Yeah, Paul, yeah, I know him. Yeah. yeah. Well, is he yeah, still he, alive? He flies with us now, he flies with us. He's, he's still yeah. flying? Yeah, he is. Yeah. I met him. He's still flying. Yeah. Every he's Sunday. A lovely, chap. lovely chap. Yeah. Yeah. Every Sunday, every Friday, he's with oh, us. Well, tell him hi from uh, Chico Mick. <laughs> yeah. Will do. Will do. We'll see him on Friday. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. We we took the um. We did one of the Memphis Bell, uh, one of their 25 missions last time, a few weeks back. I think we went out to the Rouen, Rouen railway yards and, and bombed the hell out of them. Ha. And we came back. <laughs> so right. Uh, he used to create create all yeah. the events. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He, he, he dropped the files into us, so we had the flak and the whole bit going on. Oh yeah, well that, that was great. Yeah. Great. Yeah, we had the yeah. all that going yeah. off as well. Drop the bombs and. Oh, we used to do a. Uh, well, we could re recreate the, the, the missions that they did do. I mean, <laughs> I mean even to Berlin, yeah. that was eight hours. That was yes, eight hours of yeah, formation yeah, yeah, flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes, he said he's got he's got all those details, but that's um, we wanted to do some B17 flights, but not that long within our time frame. You know, two two and a half hours. So we kind of cheated a little bit and set off from the south coast and <laughs> got in and oh. back and, and you know that sort of thing we used not, to really not go went to Brassingbourn it. because uh, 12 yeah, yeah, yeah. in our missions <laughs> yeah 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 it's fine when you've got the time you know if you're yeah oh you yeah know, you have got the time but obviously busy people we just don't you know I mean you're struggling sometimes to 
to land two hours if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, with Gypsy, we've got an eight-hour time difference, I believe, haven't we? He's in San Francisco, isn't he? Yeah, that's right, so, that's right. So we'd be flying in the evening, and he'd be getting up early and flying yeah. before breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what, yeah, we do. And Ratty's over there, and Paco's over there, so mm. there, there's, there's quite a few West Coasters. Which is why we why we find that the 1900 Zulu fits for most people, because obviously it's yeah, just yeah. a nice evening flight for us. It's yeah. late morning for them. They're all retired. They haven't got anything else. It's on a Sunday, uh, you know. So they fly late morning. Um, the only people it doesn't work for, of course, is the, is the Far East. You know, but you cannot do everything. Yeah. You know, the likes of Corsair and, and all the New Zealanders. Uh, you know, it's three, four, five, six in the morning for them. Um, you know, we've tried all sorts, but you just can't, you know. So, yeah, we have a guy in a VA. 1900 Zulu. When we fly uh, an hour fits evening. most people, yeah. He is, yeah. Uh, he's Chinese, but he's living in Australia. It's, 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 yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, so that's plus 10, 11, 12 hours. Isn't yeah. It? 13 hours to New Zealand. But hey, I've got I mean, the Sometimes airfield. we've done it. We've, we've done a, a yeah, we've, we've done a later one uh, rather than a 1900. We've done like a 2000 Zulu. So it's 11, 11 p.m. a late flight for us, but it's been a breakfast flight for the Australians and New Zealanders. So they've got up at six and took off at 7 a.m. and done a breakfast flight, and we've done a late night flight. So we've done that in the past, but it doesn't suit everybody. Uh, you can't keep doing that. So sadly, we've you know just had to settle on 1900 Zulu. It sits, it fits the most most of the people that fly with us. Meanwhile, I'm over the town, <coughs> next to the river. Meanwhile, I'm on short final because I, I was on a phone call. I'm heading. You're coming in on three four, are you? Okay. I'm You're coming in on three four. I'm taking two seven. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're not gonna clash. No, 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 no. Okay, I've got eyes in the sky. So you're that way over there. Okay. So if you if you turn left on the main runway on two seven when you get there, or at the taxiway Alpha, I'm on the other side of the runway. Ah, crap. The side of the two seven Fuse runway. Contacts. On your left. Yeah, I'm seeing you in a little off my pocket. I see you, eyes on. I see you over there. Yeah. That's it, come up that taxiway and then cross the runway at some point. You can, uh, yeah, don't take the high speed next. Continue on Alpha and then yeah. take <laughs> Alpha 4 and cross up. And cross up Mike and then you're straight into where I am. I mean, definitely not high speed, nope. <laughs> no, don't take the high speed. Don't need it. Unless you want to, then you can backtrack on the on the runway, but I don't know how far the other guys are. Out. Final 27. Yeah, one thing with the 247 is... Uh, there you go. It's quite easy on land, so... Plenty of room. It's a big Piper Cup. Yes. Yep. Good stop. Yeah, this thing's not so, because um, the brakes are not great, and of course it doesn't have a prop to feather or anything, so... You almost have to stall it on. 
particularly on a, on a slow, small runway, because you can't hit the brakes because it'll top over because it's very nose heavy because of that big lump of engine in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I tend to put all the passengers in the back, crumb them in the back, and then put all the weight in the back, and that kind of helps helps to keep the, the nose, the tail down. But there are three seats in front of us. No, stay in the back. Yeah, in the back. There you go. So if you if you turn right now on the Alpha Four and Mike, and then come straight across. That was the plan. Yep. Yep. Let me just do ATC. Oh no! Don't be careful. The other guys are around a landing, so hold, 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 don't cross the runway. Hold position, please. They're coming across you. Oh, nice. Smooth as butter. There they are. They may turn off before, but... Um... Now just continue till the M exit. Yeah. Yeah, you can come across now. They're, they're slowing up. You've got time. Where's that? At the end? Yeah, come across right. now. Oh, yeah. I've Halfway. Got, I've got next left. I've got ice Dorsten. Sorry, next right for you. Next right for you yeah. on Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. You'll see an aircraft crossing you from uh, left to right in front of you. Yeah. Follow him. And we're on the big apron over here. Strange humping aircraft here, but mm, crap again. <laughs> Going good. Next one, and final one. There we are. Lovely. the lineup. Oh, the lovely. Brilliant. Excellent. Well, that was good. I'm in that part of the world for a long time, so it's interesting. Just to get back in the old uh, Vega. Thick and rudder. It'll be interesting to find out a little bit more about that nav system that they've got in that research. I can send you the uh, manuals if you're interested. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty intrigued about how they put it all together and got everyone to work together and build the transmitters the various stations so this was this was prior to the VOR NDB then was it or, was, or, was, or were they creating it at the same time 
Prior. Yes, there must have been. Yeah, prior. Is it? This is uh, pre World so War II. This was the 30s, was it? Yeah, 30s. Yeah. This was between the 20s, 30s. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jimmy Doolittle uh, was yeah, the one who yeah. uh, invented it. He was also the first to actually fly it from east to west coast on his own invention. So okay. Speak. Right, sure. Once the whole network was up and running. Yeah. Yeah, or at least a, a, a single right. uh, uh, routing thing. Mm. Let's see. Good. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to send them to you, uh, Ian. Well, that was good. Yeah. Gents, I think our uh, experiment succeeded. We did an inbound, an outbound, and a uh, a crossing beam, and we uh, we arrived at Stewart. Yes. In sucky weather. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. We did have our moments, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, so like that. Empire. <laughs> Empire Airways. Yeah, and a, uh, a pre Mexican. Lovely. Mexican yeah, well, we must do it again at some yeah, point. Really Something cool. else. Really cool. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. Thanks. Very good. Enjoyed the midweek one. So thank you for doing the midweek. That's really good. Really okay. good. Thank Keep that in mind, too, the Mondays. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. Yeah. Okay, thanks. See you all. Good stuff. Alrighty. Hey, bye bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 bye.